Tell them the truth, those Zempeg. Ten years from now, what, what are the three things we see coming? Yeah, I would imagine there's going to be the three Fs of a failure of Ozempic to address. We're going to be more frail, we're going to be fatter, and we're going to be mentally fragile. Now, why would a scientist state such bold declarations? Let's look at the fatter. Few people appreciate that some of the most common of these GLP-1 weight loss drugs in part act by stimulating the growth of new fat cells. Now, you're listening and thinking, yeah, but I lost 50 pounds. Sure, because your fat cells were getting smaller, but you were actually making potentially more more fat cells. So when you get off the drug someday and you start eating the way you were before because you never actually learned how to eat differently, you're going to gain all that fat back and you have more fat cells so you could go further. So we'll be fat. And sicker fat cells so you become insulin resistant. They get bigger and bigger and the fatter fat cell is insulin resistant and pro-inflammatory, so inflamed. And so that's the fatter. The frail part kind of goes along with it, which is 40% of the weight that people lose on these drugs appears to come from lean mass. That's muscle and bone. And that is not something we gain back very well. So imagine again, when the day comes, 70% of people on these drugs get off them at two years. So let's say two years in, you get off. That muscle and bone may not ever come back depending on your age and your sex. The fat's going to come back very happily, but it's a quirk of human physiology. The muscle and the bone may never come back. So we're again fatter and frail because our muscles and bones are weaker and smaller. And now we're going to have a harder time just living life and getting up and about. And fragile. Yes, so fragility of the mind in particular. A paper was just published as we record this at the beginning of 2025 that found that the risk of suicidal behaviors doubles on these drugs and the risk of major depression, I don't mean just feeling a little glum on some day or another, but major depression triples on these drugs. So we are putting ourselves in a perfect we're putting together all the variables of a perfect storm of mental fragility, frailty of the muscle and skeletal system, and then fatter because of the expansion of new fat cells. People need to wake up, man. How many times are you going to get fooled by the same playbook?